Okay, now we're talking about our second case. I have an example drawn off to the right uh, of x minus 2y equals negative 6 and x minus 2y is equal to positive 2. So once again, this would be the best form to use if I was using elimination method, which is what we're going to be learning on Friday. But uh, to visually see what's going on here, uh, we want to graph it. And we want, uh, in order to graph it, we're going to want this in slope intercept form. So uh, I don't have room to work everything out, so you'll have to bear with me here. I'm gonna keep the X on this side. I would add the two Y to there and add the six over here. So I have X plus six is equal to two Y. Now I'd have to divide every term by two. And that's gonna get me to Y equals one half X plus three. Okay, now, I do the same thing on number two. I would add the two y to one side and subtract two over here and that gets me to x minus two equals two y. Now I'd have to divide every term by two to get y equals one half x minus one. So this is less a, a lesson about converting, converting from one form to the other. It's more about visually seeing what's gonna happen here when I'm trying to solve this system. So the first equation has a y-intercept of 3, 1, 2, 3, and we go up 1 over 2, and we continue on forever. Okay, if I had a straight edge, I'd graph that line and connect all the points, and then I go on to my next line. Now this one has a y-intercept of negative 1, and here we're going up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and again, if I had a straight edge and I connected the dots, we would see that because the slopes are the same and they have different uh, y-intercepts, they're going to rise and run at the same rate and they're never going to cross. Okay, so this is since these two lines never cross, this is what we call no solution. Okay, and some mathematical terms that they might throw out is um, since there was no solution, it is not consistent. It is referred to as inconsistent. Inconsistent. The other one that had a solution was consistent, and it, since it had a single point, it was referred to as consistent independent. Okay, now in the final vis uh, video we're going to take a look at is what would happen if the two lines ended up on top of each other.